We're ready. It's recording. Okay. Well, good day, everyone. Welcome to this orientation, this first timers orientation for the uh, NACA annual meeting professional improvement conference, which we refer to, of course, as the AMPIC. I'm Phil Durst. I'm your national president elect, and I am pleased to be joined today by uh, Danny Lauderdale, who is the early career development committee chair, and by Larry Williams, who is the Florida first timers committee chair. So welcome everybody. Uh, we're, I hope that you're half as excited about coming to Florida as we are about meeting you in Florida. We wanna share a little bit about what, what you can expect there in Florida. And, um, and nice slide, didn't advance, Scott. And um, let me try this, there we go. And also give you some, some just some tidbits about the AMP pick because you're new to it. Some of you are new to it because you've uh, never been to any AMP pick, including the virtual ones, but some of you were at a virtual one one of the last two years and yet have not been to one in person. Well, there's nothing like an in-person AMP pick and we want, you to, we want it to be beneficial for you. We want you to go home and say, wow, I am so glad I went. That was of great benefit to me. We don't want you to feel lost. It's easy to get lost in all the things that are happening. And we want you to at least have a little bit of a guide through that all so that you don't get lost there. We want to present some conference highlights and give you a taste for what to expect. So the AMPIC, it's about growth. It's about fun. It's about relationships. You know, really, it's, it's about going there and building your network of people and, and, and building your network of friends even. It's a time for connecting, making and renewing friendships and for sharing what you do with others and hearing about what they do. I think that's one of the greatest things is finding a connection with somebody and learning how it is that you both work in that same area or you both have that same experience and find that connection with somebody else that you can build upon. And of course, it's also about extraordinary leadership. Yes, our leaders are real people like you. They deal with callers about problems, they visit farms, they love to learn, they enjoy being with other agents. And, and I can tell you that, that your leaders like to have fun and they like to, to, to just have a, light, a good time, but really, just like you, they're going to this conference to learn. I'm going to this conference to learn. The advantage of in-person meetings is, is, well, it's tremendous. It's learning to know others. And not only that, but in some cases, it's getting to meet family members and, and nothing helps you understand somebody else like me and their family. It's about finding connections. It's about sharing a story. It's being surprised by a similar experience. You know, I, I just got surprised by an experience with another agent. He's in Washington state. And, and I learned that, that he has a connection with Ukraine as I have a connection with Ukraine. And I know Steve. And so it, it, I'm looking forward to talking with Steve when we get to Florida and saying, tell me about more about that. Sharing those similar experiences, I think is one of the greatest parts of coming together. And it's family friendly and fun for all. I don't know how many of you are planning to bring your family, but I'm gonna tell you that, that since the first one that I went to, when well, it was 1980 something, I'll have to look it up. We took, I took my wife and our two kids who were diapers at the time, and then they grew up going to, looking forward to, and going to this AMPIC and enjoying it because they made friends from around the country. And I know that when kids get together, when spouses get together, when families get together, it's always a good time. And it's good to do that together. And then I'm gonna remind you that, that there will be an app for the program that when we get to uh, Florida, um, the program will be in the app. So you can either use the paper printed out book program booklet, which I'm kind of a program type booklet guy, type of guy, or you can use the app, which is called Yap. And uh, Scott will send out a, a message uh, about the app and download the app sometime in early July. By July 8th, you should get that message about downloading the app. So I'm going to turn it over to, um, to Danny to talk about Sunday. Okay, great. Thank you, Phil. 
Um, again, I'm Danny Lauderdale. I'm the National Chair and Southern Region Vice Chair of Early Career Development, and we're glad to have you all on and share a little bit about the, the schedule, what to expect when you arrive and um, through the week. Um, I'll be, here's a review of the next few slides, the arrive, the, the check-in at the Convention Center. Um, usually there are signs up, so follow those signs as Phil had on the slide, follow somebody uh, where the rest of the crowd is going and you will get there. Um, remember the first timers orientation, the welcome to Florida uh, dinner, buffet dinner, the opening session, and then what to do after the session are some of the things we're going to cover. So go ahead to the next one, Phil. So um, some important things when you get to registration, you'll get your name tag. It will indicate that you are a first timer so that uh, those of us uh, who are not can welcome you uh, at various times during the event, not just during the, the formal times. Really, some of the best things that you'll have happened to you at this conference, some of the best interactions will often be you know, in the hallways between the, the formal events that are happening. That's when you'll get to meet people. Uh, I know that my very first national meeting um, I'm a graduate of Auburn University and I work in North Carolina, but I started, I noticed a few people had uh, Auburn stickers on their name tag and I asked them, um, where'd you get those? And they said, well, there's this guy named Charles Moody, he's a retired agent that has stickers, you got to find him. So I kept looking, 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 I finally found him. And now every year when I go back to a national meeting, I look for Mr. Moody um, and, you know, have um, always sit down, spend time with him. It's one of the, the favorite uh, things about the national meeting for me is connecting with, with other people like that. And in this case, with a, that agent that's been a retired agent uh, pretty much the entire time, well, the entire time that I've been going to the national meeting as an active agent. So um, you'll get a program book, uh, a bag with some other items in it. Uh, and you can start going through that book. And as it says here, start marking it up. And we're going to cover a few things that, that you need to know uh, not to miss. So go on to the next one. Um, and if you have any questions at any time, the host states will have vests on. Uh, ask one of those people. Um, Scott Hallbaker, who you see his, his picture here and in the slide on the, the left as well. Our executive director, he's always a wealth of knowledge. If if someone doesn't know, they always go to Scott and ask him and he will have an answer for you. Um, and then of course, just ask anybody because we can all help you, um, particularly those of us that have been there before. So go on to the next one. Um, if you have time on Sunday when you check in and, and I think check-in starts as early as I believe eight o'clock on Sunday morning, if you have time to, to check in um, before you have anything else, which will probably be just the first timers orientation, um, check out the trade show. I think it uh, will be open. It'll be open through sometime on Tuesday. Um, those are our sponsors for the meeting. So talk to them, thank them for being there. Um, pick up a business card, pick up some of the giveaway items. I know I always look forward to conferences like this one. That's where I get, um, you know, some of those important office supplies, pens and notepads. And um, during the pandemic, the past few years, my supplies have been running low on these things. So it's a good time to pick up some more of those. Um, hey, Danny, just yeah. something else on that. You know, you're going to go back home to an office where you have an office manager maybe, or you got some coworkers, pick up stuff that you can take back and give to them, whether it's pens or notepads or, or little trinket things, pick up some things that you can take back and hand out in the office to the others that are working there. I, I think that's a great thing to do when you go home from a conference like this, to have some little things to hand out to, to your coworkers. It's a good point, Phil. Thank you. All right, we can go on to the next one. All right, so your, um, your first timers orientation and, and reception is on um, Sunday at three o'clock, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, is the, the time for that. And we're, we hope to have a few refreshments for you and a little bit of time to get to know some of the other first timers, um, get introduced um, to some of the, the officers and other folks that will be there. I plan on being there to 
to greet many of you as well as I can during that and other opportunities during the week. And then uh, following the, um, the Welcome to Florida dinner, that we'll, have, uh, we'll have our inspirational program, that meeting and the opening session. And that starts with the presentation of the, the state flags and uh, of the American flag. It's a great um, time to, rep to uh, represent all of our states um, and our country as well. And then we have- um, Usually it's the state president that, that has the, it, the honor of presenting the uh, state flag. Uh, it is. So um, it, it, you know, it, it just, it is a terrific honor to, to be up there on the stage, to wave your flag, to put it in the rack and to say, we're here, Michigan's here, or North Carolina's here, or Florida's here, we're here. That's right. And um, also, I believe the entertainment for that evening is uh, Los Sobrinos del Juez, um, the origination of um, the Miami sound. So that will be uh, great. As uh, I said, we'll have a presentation of the colors uh, and it'll be just a great fun time. I always look forward to the, to the opening session and uh, the entertainment that we have every year is always outstanding. And I know this year will be the same. And then following that, um, there will be state pictures. And I believe state pictures, Phil, are actually only Sunday night this year based on the agenda. I was, I was looking over that. Usually it's over two nights, but I think all state pictures are being done on the Sunday night this year. And then I believe there is the ice cream social both Sunday and Monday evenings. And then also Sunday and Monday evenings, the all important in my mind as well, hospitality rooms. So this is usually part of an effort from a state that has someone running for a national uh, office of some type. Um, and it's their, their opportunity to show their hospitality to us from other states and particularly the voting delegates. But these hospitality rooms are open to anyone, not just the, the voting delegates. So make sure you check the signage around the registration area or the hotels uh, to see where those hospitality rooms will be there another great opportunity uh, to get some some time to spend with agents from other states and um, talk about what's going on in, in their state what similarities uh, they have to you and the programs uh, that they're doing and really just to get to know people as well outside of what you do in extension also so uh, another great time a lot of good social opportunities to learn a lot about people at this conference Okay, I think this moves over to me, and um, I'm Larry Williams. I'm in Florida, and we are very much looking forward to welcome, welcoming all of you to the state of Florida, and some of you may have never been to Florida and maybe not down to West Palm Beach, but, you know, Florida's diverse. I'm seated at my office in Crestview, Florida, which is in extreme Northwest Florida, actually in central time zone, directly below the state of Alabama. And when I look at driving from my office down to this meeting in West Palm Beach, not only is it a different time zone, but still in Florida, going from cent central time to Eastern time, but I'm looking at um, better than 560 mile drive one way and approximately a little better than than eight hours to, to drive there. So some of you might be able to, from your location, get there before I can being in the same state. But on the slide, you see this NACA general session. And um, there's different general sessions, opening sessions. And this allows you to go and, and listen to and meet, uh, sometimes actually meet national, sometimes even international um, speakers. Uh, for example, uh, not on Monday, but on Wednesday, they have a, a brigadier general that's going to be a speaker. You very much, I think, will enjoy his presentation. And then there's a presentation by the, the uh, deputy secretary of agriculture. Um, and uh, just, you, you get excited. I don't know if you've, if you've ever been in 
college in a classroom that was a required course that you were not that um, interested in, but you had to take it. And then maybe your next class is one that you're excited about. And, and all of a sudden your mind opens up and it, it just flows in a different way. That's what happens to me at a lot of these meetings. It just, you get excited about your job and you, 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 your mind really opens up and receives this stuff. And you get all kinds of ideas to take back home to put into play um, with your educational efforts. I think national meetings, you'll, you can get addicted to them. And I hope, I hope that's what happens to you next month. Um, the trade talks gives you an opportunity to, to listen to uh, people in, in the trade uh, in, in a number of different ways. You have the opportunity to, to um, visit with some of the donors even and um, go and visit booths and see what products they have. I think it's important and I think Phil and Danny um, would agree that take time to thank these people when, when you get an opportunity to. I, I think even the old, if you would, if you're willing to do it, even the old fashioned, you know, when you get back home, sending them a note, a thank you, 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 you can't believe the mileage that you get out of that with um, thinking and recognizing some of the, the folks that step up and provide funding and their national donors to keep these these national meetings going. There's all kinds of awards through NACA, and I highly encourage you to, while you're there at the uh, national meeting, take advantage of looking at those, uh, see what's available. Um, you also, at a lot of these, will have the opportunity to eat in addition to learning about the awards and, and get to recognize your fellow agents sometimes from other states. Um, but I think the biggest part of that, uh, two, two things with the awards, you have the opportunity to submit those at the state level and those that are connected to the national level through NACA, it can move up to the regional level and you might win there. And then that would move, your award would be moved up to the national level and you could end up being a national finalist or a national winner. I want to point out with that, that some of these awards, if you do submit an award on the state level and it, it does move up to the national level, uh, some of them, there are, there's money tied to some of the um, national finalists and national winners, and you will be required to attend to receive your reward. So I tell new extension agents, go ahead and put it on your calendar. If you submit an award that's tied to the national level, go ahead and block that time off. Um, look at when the national meeting for that year will be, just in case you end up winning because you do want to, you don't want to forfeit your, your award or your money if there's, you know, prize money uh, associated with that. When you see the next one, the committee workshops, we function on committees and it gives you the opportunity to get directly involved with your state and national associations and, and, and sometimes leadership positions. And it can come back to pay off based on your state and your promotion process There'll be things I know in Florida that would be totally blank when it comes time to do a promotion packet if it were not for these committees and the opportunities to submit awards and serve on committees um, as members or chairs. So all of this is very important. The regional meetings, and this, this is on Monday at three, that's tied directly to the, the region that you, you are in. Uh, and, and there's different regions within the, throughout the, the nation. You, you're going to be in the southern region, region, the western, the north central, or the, the north northeast, and um, that's more specific to your region. But it is important to go to those meetings and and uh, learn and and you may even meet some people from uh, nearby states by attending that regional meeting. Um, the beach party you don't want to miss. This is a little bit different this year, but. There's going to be good food, good fellowship. Uh, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. This, I know that you're new, so this actually takes the place of the 4-H talent review and the trying something new that in, uh, you can enjoy some music, some good food, uh, even some games, and socialize with friends and, and colleagues. Next slide, please. Larry, before you move on, um... 
Let me mention one one thing there, um, or two two or three things actually there on Monday for the. I meant to mention this earlier, but the educational luncheons. I just want to remind everyone that those are things. Those and um, the search for excellent luncheons are ticketed lunches, um, so lunches aren't provided as part of your registration unless you registered for one of these. But if you get there and you have tickets for lunches that you decide you don't want, or you don't have tickets for lunches and you decide you wanna to try to do that, there's usually a place at the registration table. Scott usually uh, will know, excuse me, where that is, but um, where people can turn in tickets or if there are extra tickets to some of these lunches, you can pick one up. Um, so if you didn't sign up for, for an educational lunch or a search for excellent lunch, look for where those extra tickets are and you can actually come back over the course of the first day or two or so uh, and you might be able to pick one up if you didn't have one. And then I would also just say one other thing on the committee workshops is um, if there's a particular committee as you look through the, through the uh, schedule that you're interested in, um, just go to it. Um, something that, that you think you might be interested in in the future. You don't have to make any commitment at this time. Just go to it, listen. Um, I'd say like on early career development, somebody comes in, we always, our ears open. We love for those uh, early career first timers to come to our early career meeting and to get their input. So um, I think that's it, Larry, you can go ahead. Thanks, Danny. And I can't overemphasize the importance of committees within probably your state association is what certainly the national association and it gives us a win-win it gives you the opportunity to um, you know directly participate in some of these committees and maybe even take take on a leadership role as a chair a member or chair um, there's just lots of opportunities there and you'll find that NACA relies heavily to even function on, on these committees it was mentioned that I don't know how well you can see this um, if you can see it at all, but I'll hold this up. This is the agenda that you'll get when you're at registration. And this is one from a previous meeting. It's 60 some odd pages in length, but it's designed well. I think you can stick it in your back pocket. You can uh, put it in your purse, uh, keep it with you. I would suggest putting your name on it because there'll be people you're seated next to. Hey, can I borrow your, they don't have theirs with them and they want to see what's coming up next, but I would take it and highlight uh, right off the bat, some of those things that you need to attend and, and personalize this and keep it with you, you take notes. I've got some of these from years back and, and they really come in handy. Sometimes going back and seeing who a speaker was that you want to contact. So that's a good resource to have. Um, on the general sessions, this is more specific. Um, the opening session, we, you'll, be, you'll be welcome to Florida. It will, it's designed to get you excited with speakers uh, and, and entertainment. And um, it, it's just, it's patriotic, it's motivational. Uh, you, you don't wanna miss, miss this. Uh, you'll see the traditional presentation of state, the state uh, bidding for the, the next host for this meeting. And uh, it goes a good ways out, whatever state steps up to host the next, uh, that, that's not already on the list, um, they're stepping up for four or five year commitment to even prepare and get ready. And it's exciting to see their presentation. It's fun. I've always enjoyed those. Uh, they, they usually have a video and it's memorable. So that's that's kind of a neat to see. Um, and then you don't want to miss some of these keynote speakers. I, I remember sometimes some of these keynote speakers years later, they are very motivational. They give you ideas and just getting to see personally some of these people that you would otherwise never be able to see uh, in person or interact with is just terrific. Next slide. Thank you. Now the poster session, this is just one of many opportunities for you to get involved with um, things that will pay off to you in your career. And there's guidelines and it's very specific on how to put together an educational poster. But I want you to realize that, that these are peer reviewed and judged. They're, they're actually peer reviewed, but you want a, a great place to get ideas. There'll be an opportunity and you'll see in the agenda to take advantage, look for this, of meet the author, Tom. Um, you get to go in and, and view these posters and 
take your smartphone and take pictures of those that are interesting to you. It may give you an idea that you can take back and utilize in your own uh, county or regional programming. Um, the, the meet the author can come back to pay off in a number of ways. Um, get their information. A lot of times they'll have a business card or exchange, you know, um, contact information because you very well may want, if it's something that a topic that interests you, you may find in the near future that you want to reach out to that person to get additional information. But uh, I would encourage you to reach that level. If you, some of you probably already have submitted posters even for Florida, but if you haven't, uh, take a look at this, learn what's involved and uh, plan on submitting some posters in the near future. Next. Oh, and this, I appreciate uh, Phil for including this in this presentation because I, I think there's lots of value here. And I like the way he, he says this, every round table is an opportunity to meet seven other people. And you'll see lots of round tables and lots of interactions. Um, the, the, the networking and, and meeting other agents, sometimes within your state, sometimes outside of your state is of such value. Take time to enjoy that. Um, there's all kinds of opportunities here. I know that I've even seen people compare as a new agent, well, what's your state like? And, and then next thing you know, I've known people actually make some connections and you, you find out that they applied for a job in that state and, and, and liked it. I'm not saying that you need to do that, but you never know where these connections are gonna take you. Next. And the, the recognition and awardees by committees, you know, to, to meet those that, that have achieved that level and, and they win national awards uh, is very inspirational. Uh, I know when I was a young agent, a new agent, I had a coworker that had been there, done that, and he uh, had a whole wall of, of awards. And I, at that time, didn't have any. And I was in his office one time when he was, boxing up some of his awards. He had so many, he had to make a decision which ones he wanted to showcase on his on his wall. And I was thinking, dang, here you are boxing up awards and I don't even have one, but you hang in there and submit and um, you, you can, uh, with time, be recognized. And this goes a long ways in your promotion process, uh, again, based on what state you're in and how rigorous that promotion process is. But Lots of value there with all the awards that um, NACA offers. Next. And uh, Tuesday, I think this is still mine. Let me find my place here. So uh, when each day there's things to, you know, take advantage of on your schedule. You see this achievement award I would encourage you to not rule out submitting for that. You probably will have somebody that that will um, kind of coach you, mentor you, maybe to submit that at the state level. But there's a, a relatively low percentage of, of uh, extension agents in their career that receives this. And this, this is for, time will fly by, but watch this because it's for those that's been in extension for, um, less than 10 years or less and uh, to, to receive this achievement award. And there is a breakfast that you can attend on, on Tuesday. Note the time, 7 a.m. So if you're out late, you know, make sure you're up bright and early to attend some of these things or you, you miss out. The voting delegate session, that's probably not anything that you'd be interested in at this point, but it, you can set in, I think, and, and, and watch what happens there. But I don't know if it'll mean a lot to you but there may be an opportunity in the future to become a voting delegate. And that's pretty cool. Um, you vote on a lot of the policies and things that are changing upcoming through NACA. And um, that, that may not mean a lot to you now, but it, it will in, in the near future. The committee oral presentations, essentially, there's places where those will happen and times on the agenda. And that's basically abstracts. Uh, but I get terrific ideas from, from those oral presentations, or you might want, want to call those abstract presentations. Um, coworkers, people that do what you do in other states, sometimes even within your state that submitted and were accepted to do these presentations. 
um, can give you some great ideas to take home and utilize. And again, if it's something that excites you and you think, hey, I can use this, take time to get their contact info so that you can reach back out to them. Uh, they, they're always very willing to share these presentations and ideas. The awards of educational, the, the, these luncheons, you'll, you'll sit there, eat, clap, you know, stand up and clap and uh, repeat, um, but don't miss out on what awards, see those personally, what's available through NACA, um, take, a take time to uh, congratulate the winners. And if it's, a, it's a, an area you're interested in, ask them, hey, uh, how did you get this award? What do you do? To, uh, to submit and um, you can get some good uh, mentoring there as well. Again, the committee over, over presentations, a second chance to sit through some of those. Your state's night out, watch when that will happen. Keep, stay connected to your state leadership, those that are at the this, this national meeting and find out what they are doing for state's night out. That's just a really fun time and, uh, to get together and learn some of your, your coworkers from your state. Um, the scholarship auction, I say, you know, I, I always, I don't miss that. I love to go. It's an opportunity for, um, if you wanted to donate some items that can be um, sold or auctioned off, I should say, uh, you get credit for that through the scholarship program, NACA scholarship program. But um, I would caution you, don't be uh, too... Um, liberal with raising your hand at this event, uh, or they, they may think you're bidding on some, some uh, item, but it is a terrific and fun uh, night event to attend and uh, lighthearted set around, usually round tables. Um, they usually have some, some drinks and um, it's just a fun event. So don't miss out on that next. So the achievement awards were already mentioned, and that's if you have uh, 10 years or, or less, you, you can be honored by other extension agents. It's a terrific honor to receive this. And um, it's done at a breakfast on Tuesday morning, so you get the extra benefit of eating. Voting delegate session, we've already talked about that, but you can see the way it's set up and the different states that are represented to, to lead any changes or whatever that need to be made uh, through this voting delegate session uh, at the national level. The awards luncheons, again, we've, we've talked about this, but this is through the communications awards. There's like 14 different, just within the communications awards, there's 14 different categories that you can submit for. And I promise you as an extension agent, extension educator, you are doing something that could be submitted uh, out of one of, at least one of those 14 awards. It may be newsletters, it may be a, a, a radio program. It could be even a bound book. Take a look at that. But if you if you attend some of these, I think this this one you may have to have a ticket to attend. But uh, talk to some of the winners and find out how to submit and uh, plan on doing that. Here's a picture of the fun scholarship auction. You can see the the way it's set up and just all kinds of interesting items from around the the nation that are brought in by extension agents and sometimes it's fun to watch even the administration the people that are in the, the you know administration that may have more money uh, been in extension for a while that you, you look at it and say wow you paid that much for that item but it goes back to benefit the the scholarship program that NACA has and um, I think I'm up I think that's yeah that's me that's the end of mine thank you um, so Wednesday is some some more of the same. There will be another general session, uh, more committee oral presentations and educational luncheons. But we have a lot of super seminars uh, scheduled for Wednesday, and they were in your county agent magazine with details of of all of those sustainable agriculture, agriculture issues, horticulture and turf grass, Florida IT team, teaching and educational technology, ag and Ag economics and community development and leadership administrative skills, I believe, all have super seminars. So you can find out for more information uh, on those topics. Check out the County Agent magazine. Uh, if you don't have a printed copy, it's online on the 
NACAA website. And then the, um, the annual DSA recognition banquet, you can go ahead to that next slide, Phil. Uh, so the Distinguished Service Award, this is one of our highest uh, honors in the association that's chosen by our peers. Uh, these are folks that have more than 10 years of experience in extension and, some, and an application is submitted based on uh, the totality of your work through the years. And this is an opportunity to celebrate the great work that these folks uh, have done throughout their extension career. So always something to look forward to. Another great opportunity to, to um, sit at another table full of people that you don't know and meet some new people from across the country. Danny, let me just add that, um, you know, if, if you haven't been there, uh, what, what happens is the DSA awardees and, and their family members will line up outside the room and, and then we all stand to applaud as they walk in a center aisle and, and, and they're, they're all wearing corsages. You can see that, uh, that they get. So it's really meant to honor these DSA winners, our peers. Who, who have just achieved so much. And so, you know, they, they come in by region uh, to a standing ovation. And uh, it, it's just a, a great honor and event for our, our DSA winners. Yeah, it's definitely, um, I was fortunate enough to, to get that a number of years ago. And um, it's, it's one of the highlights of my career for sure. Okay, I think the next two slides come back to me. And um, on Thursday, you get the opportunity to go on professional improvement tours. That gets you out of the tra traditional conference setting. And I think there were better than 20 uh, professional improvement tours to choose from. I would very much encourage you to uh, attend. Uh, usually, there's a breakfast early in the morning, and then you load up on, you know, pay close attention. You load up on your bus. These are nice buses. Uh, based on what one you, which one you signed up for, you may have a little bit of a, a ride, but that in and of itself can be fun and educational to, to just uh, spend time talking to some of the people that's going on the same tour. Uh, make sure you have your either smartphone or a camera to take plenty of pictures. And this allows you to see some things that you probably would never have the opportunity to go and see. These are well-organized. Um, very educational. You get out on site, um, and and but also at the general sessions, pay close attention. Sometimes there's announcements and changes in in some of these, so you want to you know make sure that you pay attention if if there happens to be any any changes. But um, you get after this, you're, we're all bused to a one location to enjoy. I promise you, what will be a very nice dinner. So th this gives you a true taste of Florida that that day does on Thursday with the tours. So we've taken you through Sunday through Thursday at the AMPIC. And I just want to encourage you that, that you know, it is going to be a great time. Um, you know, Larry talked about the fact that I like this, that, that you get excited about your job. It's mind opening and, and you start thinking of new ideas. And so I want you to start thinking about not just being a first timer, but being a second timer in Iowa. I was in 2023. I remember my first meeting was 1989, which was 33 years ago. And I haven't missed one since because as Larry mentioned, I got Ampic addicted, right? And, um, and I remember that first one, I said, I've got to go to the next one. That was Seattle, Washington. So from New Jersey to, to Washington, uh, clear across the country and saved all year in order to go to Washington with my wife and, and, and we went. So I want you to keep in mind Des Moines 2023 and we'll see you in Florida. We're looking forward to it. And if there's any other questions, we'll be glad to answer it, but please look for us, introduce yourself to us and we'll look for you because we're, we're looking for that first time a ribbon. That's a ribbon of honor. I know that we've been answering questions in the chat, but are there any others that we haven't answered? There is a question I see here about, uh, I see a variety of dress from jeans to suits. Can you speak to the attire or dress for the week? Were you gonna answer that, Danny? Um, I, I can say that typically, 
um, you know, if you're not part of the program presenting something, uh, it's usually business casual uh, type of situation. Um, tour day, depending on what tour you're going to and where dress for the situation, you know, you're going to be outside for most of these tours. So as long as it's appropriate for the situation and tour, you know, wear your shorts um you know depending on where you're going you know if you you know we're all ag agents so we know how to dress appropriately for the situation on a on a tour in the field opportunity but inside for the meetings for the most part business casual and if you're presenting or if you're receiving an award i would encourage you to dress up for that i think it just adds um honor to the, to the award and recognizes the importance of those things just whether speaking or, or the award itself and Phil and Danny, being here in Florida, um, make sure on that tour day to, to wear appropriate clothing, comfortable shoes, but you also may need a hat for shading from the sun, uh, possibly sunscreen and some sort of insect repellent. <laughs> or maybe even alligator repellent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, we're sure glad you joined us today. And uh, again, We'll see you in Florida. Thanks all.